in our earlier video we were discussing about the non aqueous so solvent liquid ammonia as a non aqueous solvent and solubility of ionic compounds non metals metals in liquid ammonia now in this video we are going to discuss the chemical reactions in liquid ammonia solvent the chemical reactions taking place in liquid ammonia are very much similar to those taking place in water because ammonia and water have similar properties as a solvent now some of the reactions we are discussing here first is acid base reactions now similar to water ammonia undergoes auto ionization and here between two ammonia molecule there is a proton trans transfer one ammonia molecule transfers proton and act as a acid at the same time other ammonia molecule accepts proton and it act as a lori bronsted base and we get nh4 plus that is ammonium ion which is acting as a acid during reverse reaction and nh2 minus that is amide which acting as a base during reverse reaction so in this way the ammonia undergo auto ionization and produces nh4 plus and nh2 minus now when three ammonia molecules are considered out of three molecules one ammonia molecule transfers two protons and gets converted into imide ion which is which act as a base and remaining two ammonia molecules accepts two protons respectively and they are converted into ammonium ion so from three ammonia molecules we get two moles of ammonium and one mole of imide ion similarly in four ammonia molecule one ammonia molecule when uh, transfers three protons then that gets converted into nitride ion in three minus and transferred three protons this these three protons will be gained by remaining three ammonia molecules and they will be converted into nh4 plus so these are the auto ionization uh, possibilities for ammonia so here at the time of auto ionization of ammonia molecule there is a formation of ammonium ion which is responsible for acidity and amide imide and nitride these ions are formed which are responsible for basic nature or basicity now nh4 plus is an acid amide imide and nitride these are the bases and therefore any substance which is able to produce ammonium ion it is acid and any substance which is able to produce amide imide or nitride ion are basic hence the ammonium salts in liquid ammonia behaves as acids because they are able to produce the ammonium ions and amides imides and nitrides metal amides metal imides and metal nitrides these behaves as a basis because they are able to produce amide imide as well as nitride in ammonia so solution or ammonia as a solvent now neutralization reaction in liquid ammonia this can be represented by during neutralization acid react with base and there is a formation of salt and solvent so consider nh4 no3 that is ammonium nitrate in ammonium ammonium nitrate able to produce ammonium ion therefore it act as a acid and potassium amide able to produce amide therefore it act as a base so acid react with base and there is a formation of kno3 it is a salt plus ammonia 
that is solvent so this is the neutralization reaction another example is ammonium iodide as it is able to produce or form ammonium ion it acts as an acid when it reacts with lead imide lead imide able to produce after dissociation it is able to produce imide ion that is nh2 minus and therefore it is a base so acid react with base and there is a formation of lead iodide as a salt plus solvent that is ammonia this is also neutralization reaction similarly ammonium iodide combines with bismuth nitride now here bismuth nitride able to produce after dissociation it can form n3 minus that is nitride ion and therefore it act as a base so acid react with base there is a formation of salt that is bismuth iodide and solvent that is ammonia this is also neutralization reaction so these are the neutralization reactions considered in liquid ammonia so these neutralization reactions are carried out in liquid ammonia and titration between these acids and bases are possible or conducted in laboratory by using phenolphthalein as a indicator and you know that phenolphthalein shows a red color in basic medium and it is a colorless in acidic medium now what is the meaning of ammono acids and ammono bases the compounds which gives ammonium ions in aqueous ammonia are called ammono acids for example ammonium chloride ammonium nitrate ammonium sulfide these are the ammono acids because they are able to produce ammonium ion in liquid ammonia similarly the compounds which are able to produce amides imide and nitride in liquid ammonia they are called ammono bases examples potassium amide lead imide bismuth nitride these are the bases so ammono acids react with active metals in liquid ammonia and they liberate hydrogen this reaction is analogous to the reaction where any mineral acid like hcl h2so4 hno3 react with active metal and there is a evolution of hydrogen similarly ammono acids also react with active metals and there is a liberation of hydrogen gas for example sodium when treated with ammonium salt which act as a acid in liquid ammonia there is a evolution of hydrogen gas similarly zinc react with ammonium salt and there is evolution of hydrogen gas magnesium also react with ammonium salt which act as a an acid and there is a evolution of hydrogen gas and therefore here it is confirmed that any substance which is able to produce ammonium ion it is acidic and therefore these acids when comes in contact with active metals there is a evolution of hydrogen gas similarly metal salts react with ammono bases in liquid ammonia and they gets precipitated for example silver nitrate it is a salt react with base ammono base that is potassium amide and there is a precipitation of silver amide so lead iodide it is a salt when treated with ammono base that is potassium amide there is a precipitation of lead imide and bismuth iodide when mixed with potassium amide it is a ammono base there is a precipitation of bismuth nitride so after discussion of acid base reactions in liquid ammonia now next is solvolysis reactions in liquid ammonia as a solvent solvolysis reaction actually it is analogous to the hydrolysis and solvolysis in liquid ammonia is also called as ammonolysis 
and it is analogous to the hydrolysis. In hydrolysis reaction, there is addition of water. So chlorine reacts with water and there is a formation of HOCl, H3O plus and Cl minus. Similarly, chlorine reacts with ammonia. There is a formation of NH2Cl, NH4 plus and Cl minus. So this is the ammonolysis reaction or solvolysis reaction. Now due to solvolysis, there is an increase in concentration of either cation or anion of the solvent. So here solvent is ammonia. Now after solvolysis, there is a formation of NH4 plus. So there is an increase in concentration of cation of the solvent. <coughs> Similarly, POCl3, phosphorus oxy trichloride, when combines with water after solvolysis, there is a formation of hydronium ion and chloride. So, cation and anions are formed. Similarly, uh, now similar to water, ammonia also combines with POCl3 and there is a formation of cation and anion like NH4 plus and Cl minus. These are the similar reactions. So here ammonia combines with mercuric chloride. There is a formation of NH4 plus and Cl minus cations and anions are formed. It reacts with bismuth, uh, sorry boron trichloride and there is a formation of ammonium, excess of ammonium ion and chloride ion. It reacts with Silver chloride, ammonia reacts with silver chloride. There is a solvolysis and produces ammonium ion and chloride ion. So, ammonia able to have a solvolysis of phosphorus trichloride to produce NH4 plus and Cl minus. Ammonia also able to undergo solvolysis of antimony trichloride and there is a formation of NH4 plus and Cl minus. Now next is precipitation reactions. Most of the metal chlorides are insoluble in liquid ammonia and therefore these are precipitated in liquid ammonia solvent. For example, potassium iodide when mixed with ammonium chloride, there is a precipitation of potassium chloride otherwise this potassium chloride it is highly soluble in water it is not possible to precipitate potassium chloride in water other precipitation reactions in um, liquid ammonia are when ammonium iodide it is added to zinc nitrate there is a precipitation of zinc iodide similarly ammonium bromide when mixed with barium nitrate there is a precipitation of barium bromide and ammonium sulfide when mixed with silver nitrate there is a precipitation of silver sulfide now the redox reactions alkali metals in liquid ammonia act as a reducing agents for example metal when added in liquid ammonia cation and electrons are formed which are solvated and these electrons are responsible for reduction so here sodium when added in ammonium bromide there is a reduction there is a okay so it act as a reducing agent so sodium act as a reducing agent similarly potassium also act as a reducing agent okay here sodium act as a reducing agent it reacts with sulfur and there is a formation of sodium sulfide here oxidation state of sulfur is zero but here minus two so non-metallic elements undergo reduction with alkali metals in liquid ammonia for example, here oxygen, oxygen state is zero, undergoes reduction and we get potassium peroxide. Similarly, oxygen also produces potassium superoxide and here there is a reduction of oxygen takes place. It is a non-metal. Okay, so these are the redox reactions of, redox reactions taking place in uh, liquid ammonia.